<laughs> what is that, you may ask? Well, that's moving out in a nutshell. People love to call Kalu the dark side, but it is what I've called home for the past 24 years. I went to school, I came here for a McDonald's meal. This year, I left my parents' home on the Kalu side and found myself a new apartment in the heart of Hong Kong Island. But boy, it has been three months now and things are not as easy as I thought. Let's start with the bottom level of the human needs pyramid. Physiological needs, aka food. I must admit sometimes I'm not the best cook. Or you can say this is just an excuse because we hate washing dishes. A quick solution to that is stuffing ourselves with MSG. I mean, I mean eating out. The good thing about living on the island is that we are spoiled for choice. My favorite and their favorite, noodle shops. They are chip chip but delicious. Gigi on the other hand rarely goes to noodle shops because just like 95% of the expats in Hong Kong, they get scared when the menu doesn't have English. But the crazy thing about Hong Kong is that within 10 meters, menus change from no English to only English. When we first moved here, Gigi enjoyed going to these cafes and loved a good brunch. But moving out is expensive, we can't do it like that every day, until I corrupted her into liking these noodle shops too. <laughs> what she pays eating at a nice cafe once, she can pay at this noodle shop four times. Being local saves you a lot of money to fill the fridge. My fridge at home was like a magic food machine that just kept replenishing itself. Sometimes I open my fridge in my new home and I honestly feel depressed. Moving out reminded me that fridges are full from grocery shopping. In rare situations where I've decided to cook, I try not to go to supermarkets around my neighborhood simply because I refuse to pay 30 Hong Kong dollars for a broccoli Wow, so you sick fair and 9 dollars for spring onion. Chong do you pay Chong can I buy some tap fan here la? Tap your chong nam la. Free onion. Gigi was scared of the wet market because again, there's no English there and rumor has it that experts pay higher prices. So she shops at fancy supermarkets. It's time for me as a local boyfriend to corrupt her again. I took her to wet markets on the island only to find out that people are very English friendly. What? What? <laughs> yeah! After moving out, I realized that wet markets might not be the cleanest of places to buy broccoli, but they could be one fifth the price. I once again turned Gigi into a local girl. Guys, another thing about moving out is money. And it hit me the first month. Like gas, electricity, Wi-Fi, everything I used to take all these things for granted and I got them for free. Now they become my monthly bill and here's a list of items that we actually have to pay every month. Pound gas, home insurance, we got the broadband, we got the travel insurance, we got the water bill, the electric bill, we got credit card bill. Ah! The following thing, I'm not saying it because it's sponsored by PPS, it's a true story. Georgia goes and pay all these bills every month with cash. But not anymore, I told her how to set up PPS in 30 seconds. This is the machine that you can use to set up so you can go cashless and be convenient. Insert your bank card. Ding. Open account. Receipt. Easy. You can use this surface to pay over 900 merchants of all kind and pay your bills in one consolidated space. Sign up now and get a free ice cream. Gao dim sik wun min. Gao dim sik oi min. Noodles are good and it's convenient to live around our neighborhood. But with such densely populated place, comes its price. Sometimes we go past this street and it's full of rats. They are everywhere.
Go faster. Run, Torres. Run. Oh, I see one. You see that? No. Torres, it's actually a beautiful shot. Just go, but it was so pretty. Just go and get a proper shot. It's oh, there it is, there it is. <laughs> Okay, hey, Torres, go quickly, go. Go don't, where? Get your shot, babe. Just don't waste time. Go get the shot. Go walk past. Go. You got it, Justin? Yeah, I got it. Ultimately, I want this video to be a quick reminder for myself and you guys that rats and empty fridges, they suck! But moving out has also reminded me to appreciate the past and the things that my family did for me when I was a kid. Like when I was a kid, my, my family bought me a piano and all my piano lesson. I got all these paid for and I was like, oh, okay, so yeah, maybe I'll try. Now I, I have to pay for my own piano and pay for my own piano lessons, I realized Wow, I should have been more grateful and I wish I had tried harder. It's when you move out and you step in the shoes of your family, your parents, then you realize the cost, the bills, the obligation, well, weren't so easy. And uh, too bad we only realize this when we grow older.